In this video, we're gonna go over how to create a Gantt chart as quickly and easily as possible inside of Google Sheets. So we have a blank Google Sheet here and we're gonna start off across this top row here and that's gonna be the days of our task. This could be a date, it can be an actual day. In this example, we're just gonna say day one through day whatever. So day one and we'll fill in the rest of this stuff. Now that we have the basic days filled out and again, this can be dates or whatever you want, uh, we're gonna put in the task and I'm not gonna be super detailed here. I'm just gonna put in task one through however many tasks there might be. If you're doing this, you might wanna be more specific, but for general purposes, we're gonna put task one through task four. All right, and we have them all filled out there. So maybe task one is gonna take three days and what we can do is just highlight those cells and then from there go up to our fill color and we can change the color we can use one of the pre-made colors we can set a custom color we can do whatever we want in this case I think I'm just going to choose this kind of greenish color maybe this guy right here and we're just going to continue to go through this one's going to be a two-dayer go in we can use a different color or the same I'm going to use a different color for this just to visually separate them uh, this one's going to be a much longer period of time it's going to take us to do so we'll get that one in there and then our final one will be three days here so we'll just go in and put in our colors there so now very quickly and easily we can see our four tasks the time allotment that we're giving for each task and generally where they're going to fall at on our timeline we can clean this up a little bit too if we'd like. If we want these to be vertical instead of laying horizontal to take up a little bit less space, we can do that pretty quickly and easily. So to do that, all I'm gonna do is click in the middle of all of these, highlight through all of them. Then I'm gonna go to Format, Rotation, and I will rotate them so they're going up. Now we still have the same horizontal spacing. To close this, all I need to do is go between them and I can double click on each of these and it'll shorten them up so I can take up a whole bunch less space. And if I have a task that's gonna be a whole bunch of things, I can fill in a whole bunch more, a whole bunch quicker. So that's a really quick and easy way to create a Gantt chart inside of Google Sheets without going through a whole bunch of fancy other stuff that Google Sheets is very capable of doing. I'll see you later.